This is actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. You like that? Hey look baby, there's the boat that says Robert E. Lee. Because it doesn't change the color and look at it where you hold it. Look where your hand is on it. It changes color there. Oh look at all these boats back then. We actually have 250 model ships here in the museum. Well, Everything from the flatboat age all the way up to the nuclear age. I thought that one was pretty cool. Most of those are upstairs. Oh, okay. Second floor. Yeah. I like that one, how it was named after Robert E. Lee. Yeah. That's the picture great race ahead of Robert E. Lee and the Nazis. Oh, okay. Mississippi, or Minnesota. I can't believe I said Mississippi. Did it take a while to build these? Like this whole display? Uh, yes, it does. I, now actually, I have nothing, I have nothing to do with building any of them. The one in the end of the room is our O gauge. The one in the other end of the room is the HO. And a little small one, we saw what the small one we have, in gauge. All three of those belong to the director, and they've been here for a number of years. Uh, these two here, this one and this one, are something that uh, uh, individual here in Mexico donated to the museum. So they've only been here about a year or so. And wow. not totally through with, with building, getting them done, so we'll have to put some kind of little barrier around it, you know, like how the rest of them have. Oh, okay, like the glass? Yeah, something, because the uh, junk can have a tendency to get their hands up in that. Yeah, that's really cool. That's the one that's going there. The the Winslow Winslow Windsor Ruins. That was a Union Hospital at one point, right? Uh, uh trick, I don't know. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, I know it was. It, it, it survived the Civil War. That part I do know. Uh, I think it was. Cause I, that's what I was reading that it was used as a Civil War, and all that's left now is just the, some of the columns right here. Yeah. That's all. And, and I think you're right about being a, a uh, uh, hospital for the, for the Yankees. The Norwalk. Yeah, there it is. Listed as the Union Hospital and Observation Post. Thus sparing it from being burned by Union troops. Yeah, it was burned accidentally later, later on. Had a party there. It's supposed that what they're saying that uh, someone left a cigar burning and it actually set on fire and, and burnt the uh, burn it burnt down. Oh wow, that's a bad way to go out. Yeah. <laughs> now look, we do have. Uh, she mentioned the uh, here's a, a model of the Cairo. That's that's the ship over there, right? Uh, at the battlefield park. In the park, yes. Yeah. 
Now I was reading that they actually brought it up out of the water from the Yazoo. 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 There's about that water right behind us. Yeah. What they call the Yazoo Diversion Canal. It dumps into the, to the Mississippi. Okay. And then it, it, the other end, it connects to the Yazoo River. This was uh, raised out of the Yazoo River. It raised in 1965. And it went to a couple of shipyards here in, uh, here in Mississippi. They finally got it restored. So under normal conditions, you can actually walk right on that. Yeah. But they can't now because of the COVID. They have a museum that's, that's there, it goes along with it, till a lot of the artifacts are taken out of there and, and restored. But it's closed off, so this COVID has made a, 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 lot of, a lot of difference, a lot of changes in our life. Well, when I went down there uh, today, they had us able to walk on site of the out, outside exhibit, but not the inside museum. They got the outside exhibit open now. You can actually walk on the ship? Yeah. Okay, but they just started that back then because it's been not. Yeah, because she said that they just now let that come out uh, open, but the museum itself is still closed. Okay, well, I'm going to have to tell them that because I did not know it. I meant to tell everybody you couldn't get on it. Uh, now, we do have, as I mentioned, the Audi, the exhibit's upstairs. Yeah. There's a door that goes out the corner of the building, right? Right. Corner of the room. Okay. And when you go out, Right as you go out the stairs, right to your right. Yeah. Just past the stairs, back back beside them, there's an elevator and it goes up to the second floor. Oh. And that is way out of the park as it was in 1863. There are actually 2,300 miniature soldiers on there, and they're put in a position that's north and south maintained near the city of Vicksburg. Now the siege of Vicksburg lasted a little while, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I was reading something on the website. I'm not 100% sure if it's true, but it said that the campaign itself, Vicksburg campaign, was started like, it started like 1862 and went almost as far as like July 4th, 1863. Because there's the Battle of Champ Champ Champions Hill, Fort Gibson, you got the Raymond Battlefield. So all these little battlefields kind of around the area. Yeah, and actually, and I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I'm not the historian that, yeah. uh, that we have, but uh, the, the initial attack on Vicksburg came from the north of Vicksburg. And that's when they run into the swamps up there and they just couldn't do anything with it. So actually they could never, they could never capture Vicksburg. Yeah. They starved them out. Because there was another battle too that took place around Vicksburg too. Did Chickasaw Bayou? Yeah, that's yeah. That's one came in from the north, and they couldn't get through. The, 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 uh, they the Yankees couldn't. Is that like really off. swampy? Yeah. Yeah, they they bit off more than they could chew there. Yeah. And so they had <laughs> Probably not a good idea to go that way. Yeah. They had to retreat and start over. All right, I'm gonna let you enjoy. I'm gonna get out of your way. Uh, but again, it's it's it, it, and. It, it, you can actually go out there or if you want to go back through here and go around and go upstairs if you can. Alright. Well, thank you, sir. Okay. Do you see this layout of the battle? Mm-hmm. I've been filming the whole time. Huh? I've been filming the whole time. That was actually some pretty cool information that I was getting. I wonder how long it took for them to build this. Hey babe, you know that Winslow ruins right there? Mm -hmm. That's what the Union Hospital was. Oh, okay. But it, like he was saying, it supposedly somebody left like a burning cigar, and it actually eventually caught caught the thing on fire. Maybe. Is that, do you have the phone? Yeah. Huh?
Yeah, please exit through this door. Oh, baby, come here. No. This is, like he said, out here. Out here, this waterway mm -hmm. is actually like the Yazoo uh, Canal mm -hmm. that kind of dip, do, um, dr drops into the Mississippi River. Mm -hmm. So that Cairo was sunk somewhere right in this area. Basically, that waterway behind us. We're going to. You ready to go upstairs? Yeah. I think it's this way. In the second floor. Yep. Yep. What's wrong? Yeah. It's the site of all the battle memorabilia and stuff.
Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video here. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as well. Love you guys.